Elio guys and welcome back and in today's old video we're taking a look at Seether because well this is a update video because well Seether's rebirth is here and what better time to do it than now especially if you are new to the game here. So we do have Fire Seether who's a defender type coming in with 28k HP, 1.8k attack and then a lovely 2.6k defense. What is that nat 3? Okay it buffs out. I can't complain too much here, but let's take a look at these lovely skills. So the three star skill is going to be seal, which grants a 70% chance to seal the enemy's passive for two turns. Okay. Then for the five star skill, it's going to be sap, which I believe is only one time sap. 70% chance to inflict the enemy with sap damage for two turns. So one time sap for two turns. Decent rate, but it's still only one time sap. So that is a big yikers. And also Seether is an AoE unit as well. So this could be beneficial depending on the type. And then for the leader skill, AKA the variant skill is gonna be Firm Resolve, which boosts up your unit's resistance by X amount here. Could be useful in the beginning of the game, but literally once you get anything else, just use that leader skill. So that leader skill is pretty much useless. I mean, that is what it is here. But with Seal and Sap, very weird champ kit because Sap is great for golems. Seal is arguably usable in PvP. But outside of that, I don't really think they synergize together too much here. Just one man's opinion, of course. But take a look at the books. It, lo it looks like Seal receives a 15% damage boost and it goes up by... It just looks weird with the freaking text, dude. The font, by the way, you guys, I don't mind the font, but the way that it made like stuff fit very awkwardly, I think is just very piss poor oversight, at least in one man's opinion. But this goes up to a very awkward 85% for the seal. And then it looks like Sap receives a 15% damage boost, which won't save it whatsoever. And that goes up to 80% for two turns for one time Sap here. So this purely for the guide. Moving on to Water Seether next though. Water Seether is a balance type coming in with 28k HP, 2.1k attack, and then 2k defense. Okay, now 3. Looks pretty cool though, I will say. I do like Seedler's action. Got a little bit of, uh, what is it, Jirachi action from Pokemon back in the day. To any of you guys out there that actually remember when Pokemon was good. But anyways, let's take a look at the skills. So for both the 3 and 5 star skill, there's defense down 60% chance for 2 turns. One is just the regular standard attack, and then the second one is going to be an AoE defense down. So even though this mod is balanced here, the way that I think about it is its main role is debuffing. So there's not really much damage to get out of a 2.1k attack stat anyways. So I would probably build this mod just basically defensively and also if you guys are ever curious about my videos when I show you guys what gem sets to use on them on there is a reason why I only give you guys the gems that you should put on the Astromon. the reason why is because I don't know what gem sets that you guys have and if I recommend a gem set to you right off the bat I know what 99% of you guys are going to do you're going to literally say, okay, well, Elio says I should use an intuition or a rune set for the Astromon. I'm going to go ahead and compromise and put in the world's worst set on that Astromon just to make sure it's on intuition because Elio said it's good. Complete and utter garbage subs because you're compromising for the set. That's the specific reason why I never put gem sets in terms of actual gem sets inside of these videos it's because I want you to kind of see okay what gems do I have what gems would benefit from this monster if I know that its main selling point is debuffing oh I have a gem of ruin set you know why would I waste a gem of ruin set on a debuffer when I could give them like a protection set or a conviction set if they have low resist that's the kind of connection that I want you guys to make because I'm giving you the information or or the tools to use but you literally have to take the tools, put them in your hands, and use them yourself to figure out how things work. But if you're kind of stuck on how to gem up a mod specifically in terms of sets, broken sets are always fine, especially with good subs. You know, in game, having nice and spicy sets is something that is very nice to have. But in reality, unless you're paying for like a lot of rerolls to get your subs super spicy, your set at best is going to be pretty much average here, but if you need help with gem sets in particular, I do have a separate video of where I broke down each individual gem set 
by you know what type of mod in most cases I would assign to that gem set so feel free to check that video out because that serves as kind of like an overview for all of the other gem sets but anyways defense down for the three star version does receive a 15% damage boost and it goes up to a whopping 70% chance then for the five star version 15% damage boost and it also goes up to a 70% chance so I do want to say that this Astromon at some point in time was used in Titans before Weekend came out, I want to say. Because we have Shelly who has defense down and then also like the the single target predator. But the defense down 100% chance is just dirt nasty. Like dirt nasty awesome. It's something that's great. So I do believe Seedler at some point in time was kind of replacing Shelly. But now I think the general consensus is, is that you could probably use either. It's just more so timing based. But I would probably still risk it with Shelly instead because 100% chance to get that defense down off I think is a lot more beneficial in the long run versus the 70% chance. But outside of that, I mean, this mon's main goal is just debuffing. If you need a defense down debuffer, that's great. But if you don't, well, don't bring this Ashramon pretty much anywhere. But as an add three, that's probably the only area I could think of using um, this Ashramon because the dimensional dungeon, not so much. PVP defense down is nice, but why not just bring shock in that scenario and then the element of of chaos which i still haven't done many floors in i guess defense down could work depending on what other units that you have to pair up with seether but there's also other ashaman with weaken if you have access to those so outside of titans or maybe a bizarre colossus scenario where you could still just use water shelly you could use water seether instead Moving for it though to the OG Seether, aka the Wood Seether, who's a tank type coming in with 37k HP, 1.9k attack, and then 1.9k defense. I mean, other than the HP, it's pretty similar to the water one here. Kinda sus, my dude. Well, let's take a look at the skills here. So, for the 3 star skill, 2 types of sap, 60% chance for 1 turn, bit of a yikers, and then for the 5 star skill, a whopping 40% chance for 2 types of sap for 2 turns. That is 100% gag me with a machete, man. That is gross. Let's take a look at the skill books, though. So for the three star sap, it gets a 15% damage boost and goes up to what was that, 80%? 80% for one turn. Not super bad, but two turns would have been way better, but this is a nat three. And then for the uh, five star version of the two times sap, 15% damage boost and it goes up to 60% for two turns. If I'm reading that correctly. Okay. That's kind of fair, but also not super fair. I'm trying to remember where I was using my Seether at for science. Um, I think it was maybe Colossus at some point in time, because if you don't have Fire Dracca, I believe, for Water Colossus, and you need some type of sappers because you don't have like a Fire Persephone or a Water Artemis or like a Dark Vamp, etc., but you still want to clear that out, you could bring in a great value sapper like this put on auto, come back hopefully 10 minutes later and you've beaten the stage. But outside of that, I mean, the set ratios are just super low. And we have a mod like Water Sea Star where the sap is just a lot better. She even has a super evolution if you want to go down that route too. So what I'm trying to say is bringing in this mod, at least nowadays, it's just a bit outdated. Uh, outside of that, I really don't see a big usage for it unless it's once again the Elemental Tower of Chaos but there could definitely be better options there as well. I haven't really done that many floors as I stated before, just because, well, I'm a filthy casual, but yeah, this mod, I think it's just a tad bit outdated. It has its, it definitely had its usage back in the day here, but at this point in time, unless you literally have no other sappers under your belt and it's somehow elemental exclusive to wood only, this would probably be for the Astro Guide and we'll keep it moving. All right, and then following in after that, here too we do have the lovely light seedler who's a defender type coming in with 28k hp 1.9k attack and then 3.3k defense also at least at the time of this video here you are able to pull that if you have some good rng in terms of rebirthing other astromon so pick it up if you can could definitely be useful for you but let's take a look at these lovely skills so for the three star skill defense aggression okay plenty of defense with that 3.3k attack stat i'm down with that five star skill is going to be attack down which is an 80 percent chance to reduce the enemy's attack for two turns that is pretty chunky as a nat four i will say that a little bit weird champ to me though just because you have a defense aggressor on the three star skill which is fine but then you have attack down as a five star skill 
it could work in certain scenarios, but let's first take a look at these books. So the defense aggression receives a 20% damage boost. Um, the attack down receives a 20% damage boost and goes up to 90% for two turns. Yep. So books are pretty solid here. It's just the main thing with this kit is it's a little bit weird because even though uh, it's either is a light mine and you can get some crit rate out of the unit, because it's using defense aggression on this skill, I don't believe the defense aggression will apply to the 5 star version of it. So you're kind of at odds for the damage and basically it means the 5 star skill will never do that much damage, period. It's there purely for debuffing. Even with that lovely 1.9k attack stat, it's not going to do much. It's purely for debuffing. But if I do recall in the past too, I feel like people have actually used Light Seedler in certain scenarios and they said that Light Seedler got the job done. Maybe it was actually for the Elemental Tower of Chaos at some point in time, or some other content with the elements locked. But I think that's the only thing I could think of at this point in time. But I do remember, especially on Discord, people saying, Hey, Ilio, I've used Light Seether, and he actually buffed out here. So he does have his uses, even though he may be a little bit niche. I want to say maybe it was actually PvP. I never really used it because other defense aggressors exist, and once again, the biggest issue isn't that Light Seether is a defense aggressor. It's that Light Seether is a light type defense aggressor. Same thing with Nike, where Nike has just gotten yeeted out of here because we have Dark Sea Star, which is, once again, a defense aggressor, but we have the additional crit damage. Just an FYI here. And all right, then to wrap things up here, we do have Dark Seether, who is an attacker type, coming in with 27k HP, 3k attack, and then 2.1k defense. Okay. Attack is a little bit low, but since this mod is a dark type, it does have that additional crit damage built into it, which, you know, it'll definitely buff out in the end here. But let's take a look at these lovely skills. So the three star skill, Elemental Edge, but it is critical hit reliant. So if you want to use your Dark Seether, Pray to the guys that you get one with at least one square slot. Pray to the guys that you get that because if not, that's going to be a RIP to the squad here. Uh, but following in with the 5 star skill which is defense down, there's no X amount of chance. It literally just says critical hits lowers the enemy's defense for two turns. So this mod is purely critical hit reliant which is great though because you can throw this on an intuition set if you have some decent subs or a more spicy ruin set where you can get the added damage of that crit damage but also the spice of the ruin set just to make uh the lovely dark seether hit like a butt cheek on a stick here but taking a look at the skills elemental edge goes up by 20 percent and then defense down receives a 25 percent damage increase as well i will say you know i'm not a big fan of elemental edge but if i had to choose what astromon got it I would love for it to be on a Dark Mon, which is what Dark Seether is. And for the 5 star skill, the AoE is nice too, because not only can I get some damage out of this unit, but I can also debuff them. So whatever units that I may be running in with my Seether, they also benefit from that additional damage. And also if you're fighting another Dark Mon, for example, and you get that defense down on them, and then you have Seether come in there after that and smack them once again, well hopefully they've passed away at that point in time. So. Bit of a different type of kit, you know, it hits a little bit different, but I could see it definitely working uh, in your favor. But in terms of Dark Seether, when he first came out, we didn't really have that big of a pool of mons that would hit like a butt cheek on a stick. I think at this time we had Gatito, maybe Finnick just came out, but Dark Finnick doesn't even count, so I'm referring to the light one. We really didn't have that many Ashermon that dealt a lot of damage, so... I do remember there was a big point in time where we used a whole bunch of Dark Seethers. Everyone was rocking Dark Seether in PvP and Clan vs Clan for a time just because this mod was easily accessible due to his rebirth and with the whole Elemental Edge and Defense Down combo that's also great. So what I'm hinting uh, towards here is especially if you're a newer player and you need some type of Dark Nuker or Pseudo Dark Nuker because there's no Hunter or Predator here but you still need a decent damage dealer then don't sleep on Dark Seether whatsoever. I would use the Astromon in PvP if you need a decent damage dealer, and also Clan vs Clan at the end of the day. Outside of that, I really don't see Dark Seether being used anywhere else just because he's super frail, so do keep that in mind as well. Like, he's nothing but damage, you should be going for all kinds of damage up there on him, but with a 2.1k defense stat, there's not much you can do to kind of mitigate the damage that he will take. So not only does he hit hard, but he takes hits super hard as well here. But to wrap things up, I am going to head over here to my mod box because I think maybe I still have Dark Seether. And if we do, we can see what my Dark Seether's condition is. 
If not, well, I give you guys my whole consensus on the whole Seether family, but I'm trying to see. Yep, there goes my Dark Seether. He's on a Ruin set, a lovely 76% crit rate too. Uh, Trinket game is weak. I mean, if it works, it works. Resist is dirt nasty low, but I haven't used this mon since 1999, which makes sense. There's no enhancements whatsoever here, but this is literally just a relic from the past, and I'm still surprised that I do have the lovely Dark Seether here. But to go ahead and end the video, you guys, I would say the RGB Seethers at this point in time are just either odd or purely outdated with Superior Astromon. So if you want to go ahead and rebirth them and kind of build them up, feel free to do it for the Astro Guide. But in case you need like a dedicated sapper, I would just drop wood with the rest of everyone else, get your essence and move on here. Pick up Light and Dark though because they could possibly tweak the Seethers in the future. Not saying that's going to happen because they haven't done anything yet, but I think for like longevity wise, you'll probably get the most use out of Dark Seether and then maybe drop him in the future too once you get like a Gatito. Maybe you end up pulling like a Dark Moonflower. Maybe you end up pulling someone like Dark Mowgli, who honestly isn't that bad for what she's worth, and then you'll go on from there. But hopefully this video helped you guys with the whole Seether rebirth. Good luck to everyone out there trying to get some Seether action. Once again, at the end of the day, you can always go for the Astro Guide for all five of these Astromon and release them and hopefully never look back. But yeah, that is the updated version of Seether, you guys. If there's something else that needs to be updated, uh, feel free to leave that in the comments below and uh, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on the latest from your boy in terms of MSL. Yeah, that's pretty much it.